Hi, welcome to today's class. Today, we have this radical equation on the board. A few days ago, I made a video on this um, radical challenge and uh, towards the ending of the solution, I made a little mistake and it was printed out. Thank you to my viewers who are always very observant and I have to take down the video because my intention is never to mislead anyone. And so, here's the video again. I want to resolve this challenge step by step although i solved that previous one in a hurry but today i'm going to take my time to go step by step all right so let's go into today's challenge the question says the square root of x plus the square root of x minus the square root of one minus x equal to one so where's the value of x so we take a solution yeah i will move this to meet this Okay, so why this will remain on the left hand side? So here we we'll go to the left with your x minus the square root, okay, square root of 1 minus x equal to 1, then minus the square root of x. So at this point, we cannot eliminate this radical by taking the square of both sides. So here, here, we square this, then at the same time, we also square this this will live with this so we don't have problem with this other side now so here we are now left with x minus the square root of one minus x equal to here we are going to take this systematically so we have here one minus the square root of x bracket bracket one minus the square root of x understood so let's use this to open up this so this we give us here 1 times 1 will give us 1. 1 times minus root x will give us minus root x. Then minus root x times 1 will give us minus root x. Then minus root x times minus root x. This will give us plus root x r to the power of 2. Okay? Now, we can add these two together. Meanwhile, this and this will leave the system. All right, so let's put this in brackets. I'm putting a bracket here. So if we have this, then we are now left with our one. This, this will give us minus two root x, the plus our x. Easy. Let's bring this down. Here we have this to be our x minus root one minus x. All right. We are having a plus x, we are having a plus s. So if we collect our light terms, this and this will leave the system. Right? So here we're left with minus root 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus 2 root x. Again, we have to take care of this radical by taking the square of both sides. So let's square both sides again. We have here this squared. Here we have this squared. Inside here, we have a visible one. So minus one square will give us plus one. And so this and this will leave. So we are left with one minus x is equal to this side. Let's go systematically again. One minus two root x bracket bracket one minus two root x. Okay, so let's open up this. So if we open up this, this will give us here bracket. This times one will give us one. 1 times minus root 2 will give us minus 2 root x. Then we come to this. This minus 2 root x times 1 will give us minus 2 root x. Then minus 2 root x times minus 2 root x will give us plus 4 root. Yeah, because this times this will give us a 4. Then root x times root x will give us here yeah, bracket here. Yeah x squared okay all right now so from here we now go again so let's work out this this square bracket so this side we don't have issue with this so let's continue on this side of our bird from here this this we go with this so we can go ahead to add up whatever we have here let's bring the left hand side so I have your one minus your x which is this, is equal to, here we have 1, then minus, minus 2 root s, minus 2 root s will give us minus 4 root x. There, here we are left with 
logs for x easy we still have a radical here so what we do move all terms to this side again this plus one we go with this plus one so we have here if we bring this one big side this will give us um, um four okay here we are having a minus sign attached to this radical so let's move this to this side move this to this side so when i have here four root x equal to your four x plus x so we have here four root x is equal to 5x again to enable this let's take the square of both sides take the square of x so if we square this this will give us 16 then x because this we go with this then here we are now left with 25 x square all right so we move this to this side because we cannot factor out x and cancel out okay we cannot divide through by x why because this is a quadratic equation so this now implies that your 25 x squared minus your 16 x is equal to zero so let's factor out x since it's a quadratic equation so we're going to have x bracket your 25 here we're left with one x into 16 equal to zero so here we apply the zero product rule where we take this to zero take this to zero so when i have x is equal to zero this is the first solution okay x1 but like i said in the previous video this when i substituted it into this radical equation did it give us the root so this is rejected so this root is rejected we succumb to the second expression which is your 25 x minus 16 equal to zero take this to this side so we have 25 x is equal to 16 divide through by 25 divide through by 25 this this leaves the system so here we now have our x is equal to 16 all over 25 okay now in that previous video i wrote one all over 25 instead of 16 all over 25. now i substituted this in this equation and it satisfied the original equation so this is the correct answer that will satisfy this radical equation again i want to say a very big thank you to uh, my viewers and my subscribers who spotted out the error and they uh, drop it in the comment section and we are not the type that when our mistakes are pointed out, uh, we, we shine away from them. No, we always uh, take corrections when we are corrected because we are not a uh, God. It's only God that is a perfect being. Thank you for being there. Thank you for encouraging us once again. Thank you for the correction. We are, are glad we have you there. It means you are following what we are teaching on this channel. Remember, my name is Jake's Animal, and I love you all. Thanks for being there always. Bye. For now.